I, I encountered yoga when I was young, in my 20s, but at the time I didn't know of any teachers and I self-taught myself from old books like Yoga, Youth and Reincarnation by Jeff Stern and uh, Swami Divakananda's book. So, and then I went off on another spiritual journey altogether, which was to be part of an intentional community that did not include yoga. So I started again when it was time to leave that. And uh, started just, I was so attracted to it always and it felt like a piece of myself had been absent when I reconnected with it. So, yeah. So when you started yoga, where did you start? Where did you go? What kind of yoga did you do? When I started yoga, there was no yoga to go to. I lived in Washington, D.C. And I didn't know of any, you know, this was 1965, 66. Um, so there were no studios, nothing like that. So I just got these books and I started doing yoga at home. <laughs> so that was the way it started. When I returned, of course, that yoga had blossomed and I started studying in the uh, Iyengar lineage. So that oh, that's was a, great. a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, when you when you did your first teacher training, did you know you wanted to teach or did you do it for your own uh, intention? I started my first teacher training just because I wanted to know more primarily. And um, it was with the yoga, uh, Iyengar Yoga Institute in San Francisco and the way to deepen my knowledge and understanding on all levels was to, to do a teacher training. I still think that's true today that that's a, a main way people deepen their own practice. But very soon, like when I started getting into the second year of that, I started realizing that I wanted to try to teach as well. So it evolved that way. Um, what were you doing before, before you did yoga? Okay, so I had a corporate life. <laughs> I did lots of things. I'm a person who's done just lots of things but from doing a lot of waitressing in some years in my life and that kind of work. And then I um, somehow managed to end up in the computer software business, <laughs> working for some major software companies for a while, which kind of was the way I supported myself to go to teacher training <laughs> for two years. And then I became a recruiter in the bio, uh, the, uh, biomedical field and had my own hours and ran my own my own stuff so I was just gradually creating more and more space for yoga and less and less for everything else I had an experience I mentioned that I was in an intentional community for 20 years and when I left that and rediscovered yoga I realized that I was no longer seeking a quote-unquote guru in my life that I was trying to find it more in myself so one way I think that comes out in my teaching and my, my own practice is that I just keep being attracted to wonderful teachers, but I don't feel that I need to become totally that thing, you know, totally this or that or the other. And I'm, I'm so inspired the way, because I feel that teaching really comes from our own practice. Mm -hmm. That's where we keep re regenerating and revitalizing. So it revitalizes me to study with different teachers, like my most current experience with uh, T.S. Little and uh, working with Satya and just working with him in general is just such a wonderful experience.